Okay. So we are going to do the guided practice problems from yesterday, day four. Uh, we're writing equations. That's all we're doing for these. We're not solving them. We're just going to set them up, which means we're going to write the equations for each of these problems in slope intercept form. The very first one, it says, suppose that the water level is 34 feet. Okay, that's a, a number there or quantity there that is receding. That means it's going down and um, at a rate of 0.5 foot per day. So in order to write a linear equation, you have to identify what the rate is. And you have to identify the starting amount or initial value, which is the y-intercept. So your rate in this problem, the rate between these two numbers is going to be this right here. The rate is 0.5 um, foot, foot per day. So half a foot per day. And it's receding. So that is going to be a negative 0.5 per day. The starting amount, the starting level of the water was 34 feet. So the equation is going to be y is equal to a negative 0.5 x plus b, which is 34. This is the equation. And remember, all I'm doing is substituting a number for m, the rate, and a number for b, the y-intercept. Any questions about that? Let me admit some folks in. Okay. Let me pause real quickly. Okay, so number two, it says Seth's father is thinking of buying a six-month movie pass for $40 with the pass, so including the $40 that he spent. Matinees cost a dollar, so every single matinee is going to be a dollar. So my rate for this particular situation is $1 for every matinee. And... $40 is the amount that the father is automatically have the father automatically has to pay. So the equation is going to be the total amount which is going to equal to $1 times how many matinees he goes through in 6 months, so the number of matinees plus the father automatically had to pay that $40. That's the first equation. The second part of this problem is saying that if each matinee normally are matinees are normally three dollars and fifty cents, okay, each. So in the second part, the second equation, the slope is going to be three dollars and fifty cents each for every single matinee. The y-intercept is going to be zero because you're not paying a starting amount. So the equation there is going to be y is equal to three dollars and fifty cents x plus zero, or you don't have to write the zero. You can just leave it as $3.50 X, okay? Number three, any questions about that? Pause for the calls. All right, for babysitting, Nicole charges a flat fee of $3 plus $5 per hour, okay? So we're writing an equation here. My slope is going to be the $5 per hour. This is the rate. It's $5 an hour. So every single hour, um, the babysitter is going to get $5. That's the rate. The starting amount, the amount that the babysitter is automatically going to get because it's a flat fee. So the babysitter is automatically going to get $3. So that she automatically starts off with $3. That's the initial amount. Then the equation here is going to be y is equal to 5x plus $3. Any questions about how I got that as an equation? Number four, a plumber charges $25 for a service call plus $50 per hour of service. And again, we're writing the equation. So here, the rate is going to be the $50 per hour of service. This is the rate here. And the initial value or the starting fee or the starting amount is that 
for the, just making the call. That's the initial amount you have to pay. The equation then here is going to be y is equal to the $50x plus 25. This is the equation. Questions about that? Number five, Rufus collected 100 pounds of aluminum cans to recycle. 100 pounds. He plans to collect an additional 25 pounds each week. This is a rate right here because he's collecting that each week. So my slope is going to be 25. My starting amount is going to be 100. Okay. Started off with 100 pounds, and every single week he's adding um, 25 pounds each week. So the equation here is going to be y is equal to 25x plus 100. Any questions about that? Okay. A canoe rental service charges 20 a $20 transportation fee and $30 an hour for to rent the canoe. Okay? So your M and your B, you write it in. And whatever your M and your B is, you plug it into Y equals MX plus B. Okay. Any questions about that? All right.